high yogis will begin on our backs, feet hip width distance apart, knees bent. You'll hug your right knee in towards your chest, flexing through your right ankle. Keep that left foot on the earth. Breathing deep here, connecting your body and your breath. With each exhale, see if you can release some tension in your body. You can stay here or you can begin to straighten that right leg, interlacing your fingers behind your right hamstring, flexing through the right ankle. And then hug your right knee back into your chest and place your right foot on the earth, switch sides. Hug your left knee in towards your chest, flexing through your left ankle. Again, nice slow breathing here. Stay here or begin to straighten that left leg, interlacing your fingers behind your left hamstring flexing through the left foot. Hug your left knee back into your chest and then bring your left foot back to the earth. We'll take a bridge pose. Both heels come in towards your bum. Plant your palms outside your hips. The back of your head stays planted firmly on your mat. As you inhale, lift your hips up toward the sky. Exhale, slowly release. Take a full body stretch, reach the arms up, point your toes. And then hug your knees into your chest and roll onto one side. Pressing yourself up to a seated position. Come forward into your tabletop. Stack shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. We'll take a few rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, arch, drop the belly. Broaden through the collarbones. Exhale, tuck the tailbone around the spine. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, come to neutral. Tuck your toes. Move your hands six inches to a foot in front of you. And exhale, send your hips up and back for downward facing dog. You can walk out your dog, bending one knee and then the other if you'd like. Fingers are spread wide, feet are hip width distance apart. Imagine you're in a nice inverted V position here. Your gaze is between your thighs. Inhale, lift your right leg, flex your foot and square your hips here. And then exhale, place your right foot between your hands, lower the left knee down. Inhale to a low lunge, you'll stack your right knee over the right ankle as you sweep your arms toward the sky, soften your shoulders down and away from your ears. Exhale, frame your right foot, tuck the left toes, lift your left knee off the ground, plant through your left palm and inhale, sweep your right fingertips to the sky for a twist. Exhale, right hand comes back to the earth. Step back to your downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale breath. Exhale. 
Inhale, lift your left leg, flex your foot and square your hips. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands. Lower the right knee down. Inhale to a low lunge, stacking the left knee over the left ankle. Soften the shoulders, connecting your breath with your body, releasing any tension you're feeling on the exhale. Beautiful, frame the left foot, tuck your right toes, lift the right knee up, ground through the right palm and inhale, sweep your left arm up for a twist. Exhale, left palm to the earth, step to your downward facing dog, deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg. Flex your foot, square your hips. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Ground through the outer edge of your left foot and inhale, come to a warrior one. Bend that right knee, send your right hip back and your left hip forward. Full deep breaths here. Exhale, frame the right foot, planting the palms back on the earth and step to down dog. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, lift your left leg, flex your foot, square your hips. Exhale, step the left foot between your hands, ground through the outer edge of the right foot and inhale, come to your warrior one. Left knee stacked over the left ankle, your left hip comes slightly back, right hip forward in order to square the hips. They won't be perfectly square here. That's normal. Nice deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, frame the left foot. Step to your downward facing dog, take a breath in. Exhale, extended child's pose, knees wide, big toes touching, rest your forehead on the earth. You can keep extending your arms forward or if you want to add in a stretch for the triceps, you can bring the palms together and gently place the thumbs on the back of your neck. If you have the thumbs on the back of the neck, straighten your arms once more. Crawl your fingertips back and we'll make our way onto our backs. Bend your knees here and bring them in towards your chest and then bring your arms out to a cactus or a T. Take an inhale breath and exhale, drop your knees over to the right and gaze over your left shoulder for a gentle twist here. Inhale, bring your knees back to center. Exhale, drop your knees to the left and gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, take a happy baby. Bend your knees and grab the inside or outside of your feet. Flexing your ankles so that the bottom of your feet is up toward the ceiling. You're hugging your knees in toward the outer ribs. Deep breaths. And then gently hug your knees into your chest, pausing a moment. 
Thank yourself for coming to your practice today. And then when you're ready, make your way into your Shavasana, straightening your legs, turning the palms up, and closing your eyes, knowing you have nowhere else to be but in this moment. you to stay here as long as you'd like. This is where I'll leave you. Thank you so much for practicing with me.